Hello guys, it is DLC Per and welcome back to another episode of how to build Stampy's clock tower. Today we are going to do the actual tower which is absolutely huge as you can see. And therefore this uh, tutorial is going to be a little bit different than normal because uh, yeah, if I would do like everything without speeding it up or cutting stuff it would probably take around 2 hours because that's how long it took for me. So what I'm mainly going to do is just uh, yeah, show you guys what you need to make of course and then uh, cutting um, as much as possible to make this tutorial at least um, yeah like under 20 minutes because it's absolutely huge as you can see so yeah uh, let's just get started the blocks that we'll be needing are some gray wool uh, mainly as well as some uh, no 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 stone bricks stone slabs actually where are the stone slabs there we go the stone slabs we also need some cobblestone walls there we go we actually do need some stone bricks as well uh, anything else oh yeah of course the torches and i think this is uh, yeah the mostly uh, what you will need for now so uh, the first layer is a little bit different than normal what we do is we go over here i believe yes over here and in the corner we place some gray wool oh whoops like that then we get to the middle of each block and we place some stone bricks in there and uh, if you don't know where the middle exactly is, it's just on the same line as that little hole over there. So yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty easy to find. There we go. And in between all of those blocks, we have to place some stone slabs. Alright, so that's the first layer. Uh, now the rest comes, which is the, yeah, the huge uh, the huge pillar. And for that I'm going, I'm going to do a lot of cutting, because otherwise it will take way too long. So yeah, enjoy this, uh, yeah, this different kind of tutorial type. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a second. We start off with making the pillars on each corner. They are made out of dark grey wool and they are going to be 60 blocks long. And in the end they will probably look like this. After you've done that, you have to make a frame, one block higher than the pillars, which will connect all of the pillars to each other, as you can see here in the screen. After you made the frame on top, we are going to make some more pillars and they are going to be in the middle. As you can see, they are going to be on top of the stone, uh, the stone blocks. So yeah, just make the pillars and you will match up uh, to the frame anyway later on. After doing that, we're going to get started on the torches. They need to be placed on the second layer, as well as the 14th layer, layer number 30, and the 44th layer. And the 58th layer. Every layer with a torch in it, which you just placed, needs to be fully surrounded with all of the torches. So as you can see, I'm placing torches all the way around uh, yeah, each uh, of the poles on that layer. After you've done that, it will probably look something like this. Pretty epic. Now we're going to place some grey wool next to the poles. Just do it like I do it and it will come alright. This is how the corner will look and how the middle will look after you've placed all of your, uh, yeah, of your wool. And this is how it will look after you've done all of the poles. Damn. After that's done, you want to place some double slabs uh, between, uh, yeah, between the gaps of all the poles. It's going to take quite a lot of time because slabs are, uh, yeah, it takes more time to place them because they're half. But yeah, in the end, it will look pretty epic. Because in the end, it will probably look something like this. Amazing! After the slabs are done, we're going to get started with the cobblestone walls. 
You want to place them right in the middle of each wall, as you can see. And yeah, just fill up every gap. This is how it looks if all of the cobblestone walls are done. As you can see, they're all uh, yeah between the walls. After you've placed the cobblestone walls, the most boring part comes, which is placing all of the double slabs. As you can see, I'm now placing them uh, between the cobblestone walls and the corners, and that's exactly where we should have them. After you've done that, you gotta um, yeah, you gotta make them go all the way to the top, and that's going to take quite a lot of time because yeah, they're half slabs, which means it will uh, take twice as much time as normal. And after a long time, if you're done with that, it will look like this, and the end result will be yeah almost done already, as you can see. You will now see me place a few uh, a cobblestone bricks, as you can see over here, as well as next to the cobblestone walls. And those are the bricks uh, yeah, which you want to extend in the end. Just, just copy what I do over here, place them exactly where I place them, and after you've done that you want to extend them all the way to the top. As you can see, we are not exactly going to be on the top, but one layer beneath it. And yeah, this is how it will look in the end. Also, uh, after you've done that, make sure you uh, get rid of the, yeah, the, the highest cobblestone wall and replace it for a double slab. Because otherwise the pattern won't be exactly how it is. After you've done that, we're going to do some more torches. Make sure you stand on the front of the building and on every layer where you can see a torch, like this one over here. You want to make, yeah, on this, yeah, on the exactly same layer, you want to get rid of one of the blocks, like that, because there's where a torch is going to be. So yeah, surround it like how I do it over there, and then in the end, we'll place a torch over there. After you did that, it's time to place the actual torches. So yeah, this is how it looks. And if we go inside of the, uh, yeah, the stairway, you will see some open gaps and that's where the torches will exactly be. After that, get yourself some ladders and extend the stairway. It will probably take a lot of time because it's extremely long. After you've placed all of the ladders, get yourself some uh, stone brick stairs and surround the top layer, this one. Yeah, with uh, placing upside down stairs all the way. After you surround everything, go one layer uh, up and out, and then do the exact same thing again. After that's done, you want to get yourself some stone, as well as some stone slabs, and some uh, double slabs. Some, I mean, yeah, some stone some brick slabs, <laughs> excuse me. And you want to place the stone on each corner. Then copy the exact same pattern as I do over here, which alternates between stone slabs and stone brick slabs. When you did that, get yourself your black wool again, I mean your grey wool, your dark grey wool, and then just build a whole layer of, uh, yeah, of grey wool on top of this. When you're done doing that, Finish up the exact same layer with a lot of sandstone. Just fill everything up. When you're finished filling everything up, like I do over here, make sure you find yourself the middle. You can just uh, yeah, find out where the middle is by just doing something where exactly you think the middle is, and then you will see uh, the middle is exactly on the same layer as the, uh, I mean on the, s yeah, the same block as the staircase. And then just fill it up to the ground. And also extend the ladders, as you can see over here. Alright, and I'm back. For the last part of this tutorial, uh, what we're going to do right now is make the actual clock as well as the sides. Uh, and for that I don't need to cut anything, because uh, yeah, 
I think it's better just uh, yeah, to do this live. So yeah, the blocks we'll be needing are some yellow wool, as well as some gray wool, uh, some glass blocks, as well as some stone slabs, glowstone blocks, and a few torches. Okay, and now we start off in the back, which is right over here. And uh, yeah, the back is exactly the same pattern as the sides. So you can uh, yeah, you can use this part uh, yeah for all of the sides. I'm not going to do them all three. I'm just going to do the back one. And they can uh, yeah use the same footage for the sides. So let's get started. What we do is we go to each corner and place some uh, gray wool in there, and we also place a block of gray wool in the middle. And yeah, to find the middle, you just need to go online with this little uh, entry over here, and then you will find it. Okay, there we go. Then between those blocks we place a lot of stone slabs, like this, there we go. Um, then what we do is we get some more grey ball, we place it over here, over there, and over there. And then we get ourselves the glass and we place that between all those uh, yeah, blocks, like that, there we go. Uh, then we get some more grey ball and we place it over there. Over there, and over there, and between that we place a lot of yellow wool. There we go. Now for the grey wool, uh, we are going to extend uh, five times. So one, two, three, four, five. As well as for the middle, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we get ourselves the yellow wool again. And what we do is we go all the way, uh, yeah, to the middle, yeah, to the top. Like this. There we go. Then we go to the left. Like this and one block. Um, yeah, before the end, uh, we go. Ac we actually go down, like this. And then we also go like this, and we do this um, one, two, three, four blocks, like so. And then we do this. So this is what you'll be getting. Now we do the same thing for this side, but then, um, yeah like in a mirror, so it's symmetrical. So we go once again this oh, this way, leave one block, place two over there like so, and leave one block again, go one, two, three, four, and then go one that way. There we go. Now everything which is uh, air just needs to be filled up with some gray wool. And there we go. Uh, now what we do is we place a full line of uh, grey wool on top of this. And in the middle, which is over here, we place some glowstone. Uh, now we do this whole pattern once again, but then upside down. And yeah, I can understand if you guys don't know how to do that. So therefore I'm also going to just to show you how to do that. Uh, actually I want to do it layer by layer, I think it's easier. So what we do is we place two grey blocks over here. Uh, then we do yellow blocks all the way until you're over here at the middle and then we do grey wool again then once again yellow wool all the way until you're lined up with this uh, yellow wool and then two pieces of grey wool uh, then we do one grey wool yellow wool and then grey wool and then yellow wool like this <coughs> this is what you're getting uh, the grey wool is one two three four five six uh, blocks long uh, yeah then we'll place grey wool again and then we do it on the other side so yellow one two three four five six grey wools yellow wool and grey wool again uh, now we copy this pattern so this uh, yeah this whole layer oh oops 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 there we go like that uh, and we change uh, this block for yellow as well as that block for yellow so yeah what we do now is we do two grey uh, grey wool blocks again then four yellow then two gray, uh, yeah, gray, one yellow, one gray, one yellow, two gray, four, oh, four yellow, and two gray again. There we go. The next layer is going to be gray all the way at the yellow block over here. And this is just going to be copied like that. And then we go all the way gray again, like that. Then we place gray in the corner, gray in the middle, and gray in the other corner. And yellow, uh, yeah, all the way, um, yeah, from those uh, yeah, gray ones. And then we place two gray ones, three in the middle, 
two over here. Glass in the middle uh, of this. Of that, I mean. Uh, then some grey wool once again in the corner. And then the stone slabs. And as you can already see, it's the same as that, but then upside down. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, then some uh, grey wool again, stone slabs over here. And there we go. And uh, yeah, on top of this, another full grey line. There we go. Okay, so this part also needs to be done on the left side and on the right side. And I'm now just going to uh, yeah do that very quickly, speeding up. And then uh, we are, we'll finish off with uh, the clock itself. So we'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, and there we go. As you can see, I now did all of the walls. Oh, and by the way, I see that I forgot one little thing over here, which is the glowstone. And there we go. All of the three walls are exactly the same. Except for the front one. And that's the one that we're going to make right now, the clock. So yeah, we almost have all of the blocks ready. Only thing we need are just some uh, black wool blocks as well as some quartz blocks. Which are over there. So yeah, let's get started. Um, what is smart? Let's just first do these stone slabs. So what we do is we go to uh, one of the corners. Doesn't matter really uh, that much where we start. Uh, let me just do the right and uh, the sorry the left corner, and then we go five uh, blocks like this. Then four. Like that. Then three. Then two. And then one. So we get like a, a staircase. Then we also do it for the other side of course. So five. Four. Three. Two. And one. There we go. And we also do it for the top of course. But as you can see I just quickly need to make a new line. Out of grey wool. There we go. So now we do it over here as well. So one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Uh, over here as well. One, five. Four. Three. Two. And one. There we go. Now as you can see over there, there's some glowstone as well. So what we do is we go to this block over here and we place some glowstone. So it's, it's not the one on the corner, but actually the one uh, yeah, next to the corner. If that makes any sense. <laughs> okay, so there we go. That's it for the glowstone. Then what we do is we get ourselves some uh, yellow wool. And we place, yeah, we go to the middle once again. Uh, yeah, this is the middle. And we place uh, three yellow blocks over there like that uh, next to that some gray blocks like that uh, then for the gray blocks we just go all the way around like this and then we stop over there after we've got two over here then we do three yellow ones again and then two gray ones then we once again go all the way around until we're at uh, yeah two gray blocks then you do three yellow ones and then two, yeah it's, it's just the same thing the whole time Go all the way around, two grey blocks, three yellow blocks, and then just go back to your starting point. There we go. Now what we need to do for the yellow thing is just pretty easy, except for where the yellow already is, so that's over there, over there, over there, and over there. Just, uh, yeah, just go all the way around and place some yellow wool. So as you can see, I'm skipping the part uh, of the yellow, but I am placing it, uh, yeah, next to the, the grey wool everywhere. And there we go. As you can see, we now made a perfect circle. Uh, now what we need to do is we just fill it up with some quartz. And it might take a while. I'm not too sure how long it's going to take. So if it takes long, I will just speed it up.
And there we go. As you can see, it's now filled up. Then we go to the outside, and yeah, if you're in survival, that's going to be a little bit hard. Uh, I would suggest you to just break like these blocks over here, and then uh, make a little dirt uh, platform so that you can stand on it. And what we do is we extend all of the um, yeah of the yellow wool with one layer, so that uh, yeah, as you can see, it uh, comes out. And then yeah, this is not uh, two-dimensional anymore. It makes it a little bit more uh, yeah detailed as well as more 3D. Very nice. So yeah, just extend all of the yellow wool. go let me fix that and then we get some black wool and now we need to find the middle of the yeah of this uh, clock and I already see it over here because uh, it's like this the middle of the three yellow ones as well as the three middle ones from that yellow and that's exactly over there so there we go uh, then let me quickly check okay then we go two to the left and four uh, yeah to the top so one two three four and we do the exact same thing on the other side, over here. So, search the middle again, which is over there. And I go two to, no, two to the left and four to the top. There we go. Uh, and then for the torches, which of course are also pretty useful. They are on the, yeah, on here. On there. There. And there. As well as, uh, yeah, this is kind of hard to explain. You have these, uh, yeah, these two, yeah, these two yellow blocks over here as well. Two yellow blocks. Uh, we need to go, yeah, to over, yeah, this block, as well as the other two yellow block. And then we, no, that's not even true. It should be over there. Okay, just, uh, just quickly check for itself. I don't know how to explain where it exactly should be. So yeah, just, uh, j just copy me. There we go. Okay, so that's it for the torches. Uh, the inside is a little bit different, but that comes in the next episode where we'll do the whole inside over here. Uh, this is the end of this tutorial. If you want, you can already fill up this roof with some sandstone. That saves a lot of work, but it also makes it pretty dark down here. So you can just uh, fill up this whole layer. Uh, yeah, that makes it the end of this episode. Now, if you dislike this episode, please leave a like in it and tell your friends about it or the audience for the series. Also, if you want to be the first one to see uh, the next episode coming online, make sure to subscribe to my channel, of course. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Later!